Hi guys, Jeannie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a get ready with me video. So if you guys would like to see how I achieve the look I'm wearing right now, then just go ahead and keep on watching. I'm just gonna make this a once a week um, video that I will upload on Wednesdays. So I will go ahead and do different get ready with me's and chit chats and all that fun stuff. So now that my skin has finally calmed down, <laughs> I'm able to wear makeup again. And something that really helped out my skin um, as my rash was clearing up were items from First Aid Beauty. Now I have used First Aid Beauty in the past, um, but I really um, fell in love with it again as I was trying to clear up my skin. So the first thing I was using is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Facial Moisturizer. Now this guy is so light and moisturizing and non-irritating and it did wonders for me. And <clears throat> as my rash was clearing up, I noticed that I had some really uneven texture in my skin and my skin just looked very dull and almost rough looking. So I was trying out this Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum and this guy really helped to um, just give my skin more of a smooth look to it. So highly recommend both of them and they are dermatologic, derma, dermatologist recommended and they are um, made for a sensitive skin. So if you have not tried out First Aid Beauty, I highly suggest you go and check them out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this Physicians Formula Organic Wear Bright Booster Serum. So this is a facial oil and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit to my skin because I would like my foundation to have more of a dewy look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on first and let it sit in. And I also like putting this on overnight too. So if you want to add this oil on overnight before you go to bed, then your skin, you wake up with a more gl glowiness to your skin. So, um, and it smells really good too. I really enjoy the Physicians Formula oils. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a light foundation and I'm going to go in, well actually I'm going to go in with my primer. So I'm going in with my Stila One Step Primer. Love this stuff. I've been using this for about two weeks now and I have been a fan. So it helps to color correct. It tones down redness. It helps to brighten. Join this primer. I think it really does even out the skin tone and it just gives a really nice base to work with for your facial makeup. So I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie and this is the MAC Water Weight Foundation and it has SPF 30. I have had this bottle of foundation for almost a year because you really don't need a lot of it. It is a water-based foundation so um, it definitely does spread out across the skin quite nicely. Okay, I think that's good. So it spreads across the skin quite nicely and you really don't need a whole lot. And key to makeup is less is more. Anytime um, I'm watching TV with my husband, I always ask him, how old does so-and-so look on the TV? And anytime someone is wearing a lot of makeup, he always guesses that they're older. So if you're trying to look lo younger, wear less makeup. The more makeup you wear, the older you look. And I totally would agree with that. So, alrighty, so foundation is taken care of. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. Concealer. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my favorite. I love this concealer because it does a good job at covering up my purpleness on the inner corners of my eyes, but it's also a really great brightening concealer as well. 
and it does a really good job at not creasing under my eyes as well so Do -do 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 -do. I'm headed to Target today to film my Target videos for you guys um, and I recently started uh, blogging my breakdowns again so in my upcoming videos you will see in my description box that I have breakdowns listed for you on my blog so if you're not subscribed to my blog go over to ginashweppy.com enter your email and you will be notified every single time I make a blog post so if you want to stay in contact with me on my blog definitely go subscribe so you can take my blog posts in the store with you because it makes everything easy if you have a little breakdown with you as you're shopping right so I'm doing just a very light makeup look today guys so next thing I need to do is I need to set my under eye and I'm going in with my Laura Mercier um, candle glow sheer perfecting powder love this stuff I've had this stuff since Christmas and I just really love how it applies so I'm just adding this guy under my eyes just to set the under eye and then I'll go in with a powder brush and go like this oh I am so excited that my skin is pretty much back to normal it's one of those things where you don't realize how much you appreciate something until it's gone so last week when I was dealing with my rash I was wishing for my old skin back and I am so happy to have my old skin back so yay so the next thing I'm going in with is my benefit cheek parade palette I recently picked this up from Ulta and there are two new shades in here and this is why I bought the palette because I wanted both of the new um, shades so um, I'm gonna go in with my Hoola light bronzer and I'm gonna use this to um, contour with so I'm gonna go in with this Sonia Kashuk contour brush and I'm gonna go in with the Hoola light to contour and as you can see I'm very fair and this shows up really nicely on my skin but it's not too muddy looking if that makes sense so um, just like that and then I'm gonna blend this in with my contour brush so I'm going in with my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to buff this in just like that because we want to get rid of that harsh line you don't want a harsh line here um, so I really love the color of this contour I think it's really nice um, on my skin tone and then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the original um, Hoola bronzer so I, I didn't I never owned Hoola so I'm excited to have the original Hoola so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques powder blush brush and I'm gonna take some of the Hoola bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my face as well I like the combination of both the Hoola light and then the Hoola bronzer on top I think it has a really nice look to the skin or the face so I really like the look that I get from combining the both of them so this is what I'm doing I just want to add a little bit more color to my face because I have very fair skin so it's really important that I make sure I get some warmth to my skin especially since my hair is darker so it's going to make my skin look even more fair so um, definitely want to make sure I don't look sick so next thing I'm gonna go in with is this blush here it's called California from Benefit and this is also a new um, powder brush the powder blush they came out with and I think this is just such a beautiful color so just gonna add this to the cheeks so it's just such a beautiful color especially for spring and summer love it so much 
So here we go. And there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my big powder brush and I'm just going to blend everything together. Just like that. So I love the look of this. Just like that. And then now, one of my favorite parts of my makeup is my highlighter. And I'm going to go in, what do I want to go in with? I usually do my um, Too Faced Sweet Peach, but I'm going to go in with my new highlighter. It is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. And I'm going to go in with this guy. So, let's find my brush. Where's my brush? My highlighter brush. There it is. So for my highlighter, I always use my Real Techniques um, setting brush. I find that this is the best um, highlighting brush for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and just highlight right here. And this is the highlight, as you can see. It just is a very natural looking highlighter with a little hint of gold in it. And I just think it just looks so beautiful on the skin. So I am happy to have this in my collection. And I think it's $28. I think that was the price of it. Um, and I think that's pretty reasonable for a highlighter. So now we need to do a quick eye look. And my go-to eye look lately has been with my Stila Magnificent Gold, Magnificent, what are these called? Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow um, Liquid Shadows. So this has been my go-to um, eye look. So I think I'm going to mix in some shadows from my new Tarte palette. I think I should bust it out. So this is the new um, Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. And this is an eye and cheek palette. So I guess you can use some of these shades as cheek highlighters. So probably this is what you can use as a cheek highlighter. So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna go in with this shade called Myth. It is the only matte shade that is in this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this onto my brush and use this as my crease color because with the Magnificent Metals, I don't like to do a really heavy eye look. When I'm using these Magnificent Metal shadows, I don't like to do a very heavy eye look. So I just wanna add in a transition color into my crease just to add a little bit of definition. Just like that and I will get you guys in closer so you can see the eye look so here we go just like that and then for the metal shadows I'm just going to swipe this onto my lid just like this but be careful when you're blending them in to make sure that they do not get into your eye because it can sting. So just wanna make sure it kinda of dries a little bit before I do anything else. And then I'm gonna go in with a, where's the brush I normally use? I'm just going to go in with this flat shader brush and this is how I'm going to um, blend the gold out. Just like that. So this is, it's so easy. All you need is two shades and then you're done. 
So what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit more definition on the bottom of my lashes. So I'm just going to go back in with Myth and just add this on my lower lash line. Just smudge it like that. And then I really want to play around with this shade right here. It's called Mystic and it is a like a shimmery lime green shade kind of. That's what the shade is. So I think what I want to do because I want to play around with it is I want to smudge that into my lower lash just for a fun little pop of color. So I'm not going to go all the way in, I'm just going to take it from the end to the middle. This makes me feel like a mermaid. I've always wanted to be a mermaid. Okay, so I think that that is a fun little way to add a little pop of color to your makeup. And then I'm just going to add on just a little bit more and just smudge it in. I think that is so fun. I think that is such a fun eye look. And then I think, should that be it? Or should I add more? No, I think this is it. So even though I'm 30, I can still play around with some fun eyeshadows, right? So last thing we need to do is mascara. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just add a little coat on. Just like that. Doesn't take a whole lot. All done. So now we need to go in with a lip color and I'm feeling like I want to do a more bold lip. And one of my favorite, favorite shades from MAC is called, in, I think it's called Impassioned. It is a hot pink, Impassioned. I've had this color for quite some time and I love it. I know it is a little bright, but you know what? It just is calling to me next to that shimmery aqua color. So this is the shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on because why not? So there we go. I think this is such a fun shade for the spring and summertime. It is one of my favorites for sure. So this is the makeup look that I came up with today. I had a lot of fun testing out some of the new items that I recently picked up from Ulta. So if you'd like to see my um, Ulta haul, then go ahead and click in the video in the description box. I'll go ahead and link it. And I feel like to complete this look, I probably need to do something with my hair. So um, I always just go to a messy bun. So my go-to hairstyle is always and probably will forever be just a good old fashioned messy bun because one of the things I hate doing is my hair. I hate doing my hair. I like doing makeup, but I hate doing my hair. So 
I've been trying my messy buns a little different. So, there we go. Get some bobby pins in place here. Just like that. Okay, so this is the final look that I have created with my makeup and just throwing my hair up. It kind of looks like my hair is supposed to be messy thrown up like this, right? So go ahead and like this video so you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like some more get ready with me talk through type videos. I plan on posting them once a week on Wednesday. So um, I will definitely be pulling out some different items that I want to show you guys uh, makeup wise and give like mini reviews um, as I am talking about them. So maybe what I'll do is I'll continue using the Benefit Cheek Palette. I'll continue using the Twinkle um, highlighter and then maybe next week I'll go ahead and come back with you guys on my overall opinions on if they are still items that I am really in love with or if they kind of fizzle out throughout the week and I'm not really reaching for them. So maybe I will continue to use this um, makeup look throughout the week and then I'll let you guys know my overall opinions um, the following week. So that sounds like fun, right? So if you want to continue seeing uh, makeup videos for me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell button so you're notified every single time I upload, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!